this is HG Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bahamut Lagoon! Let's rearrange our equipment with the Battlefield Salesman. Okay, so last time, we, at the end there, we got another set of diamond armor, so let's give that to Madelite. So now I have five sets of diamond armor and three ice armor. That's all I think I really need between my eight party members that can use them. And let's see, I want to give the Apocalypse over to Bu there because of how I'm going to be approaching the next battle, at least for now. I can always switch it around in the middle of battle as the situation changes there. And let's see, I also want to give the assault to one of the priests in Bu's squad there. So let's give it to Diana there. And then, okay, do we got fire rods on everyone else? No. Okay, yeah. Let's uh, equip those there then on anyone else who could use them. There are more mages that are going to join the party eventually, but we're not going to find them for quite a while. So, yeah, I'm not going to hold on to fire rods for later. We'll just sell, well, feed them to dragons. But, uh, okay, so, let's see, I do want to sell the long swords, though they're not worthwhile to feed. And, let's see, everything else I think I hold on to. It, to feed the dragons, that is. Oh, yeah, I want to sell some of the drugs, too, because I'm a dealer. No, no, but, uh, what I like to do is hold on to, like, 50 drugs and heals there. Because we're going to win so many of them from the enemies we encounter. I don't want to hit the cap of 99 in the middle of battle. And I think drugs can only increase a dragon's max HP by 2 or some negligible amount. So I'd rather get the money now while, you know, even 50 Pyro is fairly significant if you got enough of them left over. And I don't think we'll ever acquire more than 50 in a single battle or something. Even the next one. But uh, thanks for bringing the dragons along. Let's make some preparations with them. Okay, so let's see. With Salamando, let's give them the fire rod instead of giving it to Twinhead there. To, well, boost our fire levels a little bit there. But also because it only otherwise increases the mind stat. And I don't really care about that for Twinhead right now. Let's give the Flame Vest to Salmando, even though, again, eventually we will get more Lancers and Light Armors that could equip it, but I'll just win more of them later eventually anyway, incidentally. So, yeah, I wouldn't really worry about that. So, yeah, and it increases Vitality quite a bit, too, almost as much as the Diamond Armor there. But, well, yeah, for Fire. Okay, so everything else, I think we just leave alone there. Your stats are looking good. Let's see, with Ice Drake... Do, well, I don't want to give them the Coquetos because they have strength. I want to give that to Twinhead. But maybe I can give you one of the Earth Grass. Unfortunately, we don't have any Ice Grass. So you'll just have to take what you can get. But at least this way, I can get a little more power out of the Water Elemental spells there. And let's see, let's give you three drawer things to boost your mind stat over 50 and thus gain another level for Sonic Boom. And what is it? Claw for dexterity? Whatever the attack is. I don't especially care about that. That's just incidental. But uh, okay, so with Thunderhawk there, I don't want to give them the Hallbird. Their Thunder Elemental power stat is more than good enough for now. And I want the strength of Twinhead. So, let's see, what else do we got? I think I'll just give you some drawer things there. Let's give you three of those to boost your mind stat over 50. Yeah, that'll be good enough for your needs. I don't think I want to give you, like, Thundergrass or anything like that. So, yeah, we'll just leave the rest alone there. Now, with Molten, as usual, I want to give them the rods, but I also want to feed them the Silk Rope because both of those items actually boost your recovery stat there, as well as your mind stat a little bit. And then with that, I only need two drawer things to get your mind stat up to 50. So I try to keep those stats like relatively even between my dragons or at least to some extent there. And let's see. Okay, everything else I believe I give to Twinhead there. 
So let's see, let's give all of the elemental weapons that I've got to Twin Head. Now, the reason why... Well, we've got all this non-elemental armor there, and I'm going to give all those to Twin Head. The reason is because since I'm feeding all of the elemental weapons to Twin Head there, I, mostly for the strength, I don't really need elemental armor to boost Twin Head's elemental stats, not to mention the earth grass that I'm going to be feeding them to. So, as a result, since I'm not feeding them elemental armor, their vitality stat will be relatively low compared to the others if I don't feed them the non-elemental armor there. So that's why I give all of that to Twin Head, and then eventually the other dragons will catch up once I've gotten enough elemental armor there. Eventually, once I retire the diamond armor and the ice armor, then... We'll feed that to the other dragons, and they'll catch up real fast. Let's see. Let's use another Flame Grass and Thunder Grass to, yeah, get another level out of those stats there. Good thing I got a few extras there while I was farming the Diamond Armor. And let's see. Okay, so yeah, let's give you the two drawer things to get your mind stat up to 75. Would be nice to get Dexterity up to... 74 there, but uh, I don't think th Thundergrass does that. Darkgrass would, but I need to save it for the next battle, so I'm just going to leave everything else alone. I think we're all set and ready to go after feeding the dragons there, but I do want to make some changes to my formation coming up here, and for some reason we need to talk to Lugia to join, or to start the battle, even though we usually talk to Sendak since they're the captain. Or Hornet. But, uh, well, okay, yeah, we can talk to Lukia to get the job done, too. Okay, so, let's see, for... Well, my equipment is all set and ready to go, but I want to move my dragons around a little bit. So, let's see, I want Molten in the Party 2 slot, and Thunderhawk in the Party 3 slot, and everything else is ready to go there. Unfortunately, though... Well, let's see. I still want Sendak in Molten Squad, so we're going to have to move the party members around a bit. Unfortunately, you have to move the party members around one at a time. You can't just move the dragon and their corresponding squad with them. So, yeah, it can be a little tedious to do that, but it's totally worth it. Only takes a few seconds there. And let's see. Okay, so we got Sendak Squad... Metalite Squad, and Taito Squad, and everyone else is ready to go! So the reason why I switch dragons and my squad around is because of where I want my party members to go in the battle, because this one is pretty wide open. Because, let's see, we got some enemies over here, new ones, Flame Magus and Highlander, and Flame Magus is basically a stronger version of of Ice Magus, but for fire. And Highlander is pretty much a straight upgrade from the soldiers. They are still rank D enemies. Flame Magus is rank C, though. Let's see over here. Yeah, we got three groups of four soldiers there. Pretty easy. Just get some earth grass out of them. That'll be fine. Over here, we got the boss, Zombird, or General Zombird himself. You might remember seeing him during the prologue there when they took down Kana. But now, let's see, we got multiple warriors to deal with and multiple lands and ridders. And remember, their field ability, the, jam the javelin throw, will stack on top of each other when used on the field there. So it'll deal twice as much damage as before. So you want to watch out for those guys. We also got cure mages, which can finally heal the enemies there. So they're going to be a high priority target. Let's see, over here we got a whole bunch of Ice Magi, easy enough to deal with there, and some healers with them this time around, and most notably, General Palpaleos himself. Look at that level there, holy cow! He's going to be pretty hard to take down, and the reason why his HP is in question marks isn't to uh, obfuscate his maximum HP, but because it ha he has more than 9,999 HP, and they can't fit it there, so they just put 
question marks there until you get their HP low enough. But okay, so, yeah, let's, uh, whoa, hold on, let me check my dragons here, let's see, yeah, let's put you on weights there, I don't want you guys doing anything, let's see, that would not be prudent there, and okay, so I think we're good to go. Alright, so the first thing I want to do with Fuse Squad, I want to move him right here, specifically that tile. And you'll see why in just a moment here. But you notice I couldn't move very far into it. And that's because these are mountain tiles or hills. They, you can walk over them, but it requires four units of movement to do so. Holy cow. So, yeah, it takes a, while, a lot of, to get out of the, or around there. But you can flatten it a bit with like a thunder elemental ability if you wanted and that would reduce the movement requirement to two to, per tile you want to move through and there are some times when i would want to be that just not right now okay so let's see in this part here let's buff up taicho squad so basically what i'm going to be doing with this battle because there's so many enemies so far spread out i actually have to split up my party members into three groups to deal with them quickly instead of the usual two so that's one thing i like about this battle and let's see let's take down that tree there why not i got nothing better to do so ha ha now you got a nice little hole in the ground okay so with touch of squad there let's just move up here as far as i can so I'm having, well, hold on. So with this squad, or, well, yeah, this group that I'm going to be sending up this way, I want to set up some ice bridges so that way I can walk across them to get around the forest later. So what I'm doing here is I'm sending BU squad this way to deal with the soldiers since I got priests with uh, Starfall to get earth grass from and big box squad because i'm gonna need quite a bit of damage to deal with the enemies over here and they've got the best damage at this point for physical attacks anyway and with the other squads uh let's see so i so these two i'm going to be sending up uh, to deal with the ice magi that's why i've got the ice armor equipped on all of my heavy armor units there So only the Lancer would actually take damage from them. And also, I want to set up some ice bridges on the way back. Because what's going to happen is... So we're going to deal with those three groups of enemies. But they're still the boss to deal with. And so what I'm going to do is once I've dealt with all the little enemies here, then we're going to regroup and head towards the boss and all of those high HP targets over there. So I'm not going to send anyone over to defeat them right away, but I do want to lure them back, or on the way back there. Okay, so, oh man, Twin that had to move right there? Well, we'll be fine eventually, but okay, so let's see, let's move, yeah, as far as we can there, but I don't want Twinhead to attack. Twinhead could probably one-shot the Flame Magi there. Let's use Thunder on the mountain there, just to show you how it works. So you see there, it, well, it's kind of hard to tell, but we flattened that tile of mountain there, so now it's Wasteland, which only requires the two units of movement to cross. Okay, so the reason why I moved the use squad where I did is so that way once I get sent back over here, he'll just barely be in range for me to buff. And I really only need one buff for Taicho squad, the use squad, but I'm going to need more or another bingo buff for Bikabak squad there because of the high HP targets over there. So, okay, so we got that going there. Let's just move as far as we can here. I'm sure none of the soldiers can actually reach us anyway. Let's conserve our SP and MP because we've got a lot of enemies to deal with today. More than even the last battle. <laughs> 
Okay, so, yeah, this is like one of the most... A lar one of the largest battles in the game in terms of number of enemies to deal with. So now, yeah, let's do that there. Finish up our ice bridge if you want to go around that way. And let's see, so if I go there, I think I'll be fine. Let's see, if I go there, then one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that should be good enough. Okay, yeah, I was thinking about using the ice bridges, but now nah, let's just go this way. I'll just use the ice bridges on the way back. Not to mention, I also want to set the forest on fire there, so that way, that mostly just that 2x2 two two area of the forest there, so that way on my way back through, across the ice bridges there, I can just go right through the forest because it'll probably have been burnt to the ground by then. Thankfully, Thunderhawk decided not to sit in the fire this time. Thank you. I don't really care about the upper forest burning to the ground. That just kind of happened incidentally. It's just so large that I can't burn all of it down. So it's easier to use the ice bridges for the return trip there. And we're going to be taking quite a bit of damage, except the Lancer, because they got a flame vest to absorb that damage. So that's also part of the reason why I sent this squad this way. So I'd like to have different squads with different elemental resistances in the early game. Later game, not so much. It's not really as important as early on when I haven't yet make, made my dragons obscenely overpowered. But uh, yeah, as you can see, we don't really have to worry about General Papaleos because he's just going to sit on his ass there. So that's pretty nice. And he's not the boss we have to actually defeat to win the battle, either. We only need to deal with Zombird there. Okay, so, let's see. Now, I want to deal with some of those Flame Mage... Well, actually, let's start up here first. Okay, so... Well, let's say, just in case I make a mistake or miss menu or something. But, okay, so with the first group of soldiers that I want to deal with, since I've got the Assault on one of my priests, I'm going to have them start out with Starfall to finish them off, since now they have enough MP to have four casts of Starfall, while Biu and Lucia uh, only have three uses of their Earth Elemental text, but I should be able to deal enough damage to kill all these guys, even without an assist from Salmando. There we go. I, I, I'll be honest, I wasn't entirely sure that I was going to be able to kill all the soldiers there, but alright, a pretty even distribution there with the earth grass. I still want to win a bunch of those for Twinhead there. I want to get their basic three elemental stats up to max as soon as possible. Okay, so now with you, we can move up to this tower. One thing to keep in mind with the tower at 2115 there is that there are presenters in there. But I don't want to fight them right away because we've got all these guys to deal with. So I want to take them out first before dealing with the others. Okay, so I definitely want to use a spell on the Magi there, but I'm not sure if Thunderhawk can, or will, hit all of them. Hmm. Let me save here, just in case, and see what Thunderhawk does. I don't want them to go into direct combat, at least if I'm going to use them to do that. Let's go right there. So I'm past the forest, and then I think I'll just do nothing for now. Because I want to actually use Destroy later, Inspire, there. So... Hmm. I could set more of the forest on fire if I wanted, but uh, now let's conserve our MP a little bit. Okay, yeah, I was a little worried Thunderhawk might get a little more aggressive there, but uh, no, no, that's, this is all that I want them to do. Just uh, soften them up just a little bit. But uh, yeah, I think if even if I use like fire or thunder magic on those guys, I don't think I would have dealt enough damage to them for me to guarantee being able to kill them with my Lancer here, because I want to save the Bingo buff for the Cure Mages 
there. I just can't reach them right now. But, uh, okay, there we go. Got that going. So now, let's deal with the first group of them. I'm not gonna kill all of them. Right now, that is. I want to get to the Cure Mages as quickly as possible. But, one group is gonna be in the way, inevitably. Hopefully, Ice Drake does not decide to interfere. There we go. Even if they did, though... I wouldn't be extraordinarily concerned about it, but I do want to use Earth to kill rank C enemies now because we can win Gaia robes from them. That is exactly what I wanted there. It is the next upgrade to the silk robes that we've already gotten. Unfortunately though, it's just not really that extraordinarily powerful. I'm gonna equip it on my wizards, but I can't do that right now. So I'll just show you how they work there. So yeah, a little more defense and magic. Nothing extraordinary, but it's the strongest robe that we can get at rank C. And I've already gotten all the fire, water, thunder, and dark elemental pieces of equipment that I want for now. So I've got nothing better to do. Get the Gaia robes. But uh, yeah, that is a one in four drop from them. Actually, in practice, it took me like seven times to win one of those from these guys. Winning drops from enemies is just really streaky. Like, I'll win, like, like even in the last battle, you saw, I was winning, like, practically all my drops from rank C enemies within, like, one or two attempts. Like, several times in a row, but then I'll have one piece of equipment that I want to win, and it'll take me like eight or ten times to get it to, to get one to drop from a group of two or three enemies. So yeah, it's just really, really streaky like that. Kind of weird, but uh, in any case, as long as I get one Gaia rope from each squad of enemies, that's fine. I don't care what else I get. Hey, hey I'd, pre I'd prefer to get more Earth Grass. That's another possibility there. But uh, okay, I don't need Quinnan's help to deal with these guys anymore. So let's take out the group on the right there first. Thank you for not running away from me and hitting me from afar to kite me farther away from the rest of my squads. Okay, so with these guys, let's have Rush take out one of the Highlanders there. The other two knights take out the Flame Magi. If I get a crit with friends, I might be able to kill the Flame Magi. But we'll see how that goes. I got the, of course, the critical buff from the three knights there. Hey, hey we got one. All right. Yeah, a crit boosts your damage by 50% in addition to the 50% that you get from Bingo as well. I don't know if it stacks additively or multiplicatively, but whatever. Anyway, yeah, we got another Gaia robe there. Hooray! The Rapier is a rank C Earth Elemental drop, which is less than extraordinary. But uh, yeah, like I said, it, at least one Gaia robe from each squad that I fight, that's more than good enough there. I need to get seven Gaia robes in total for my mages and priest and summoner and all that, but uh, oh, okay. What could be more important than crushing the resistance, attacking your empire? So yeah, yeah, that's why you also deal, or don't bother with Papaleos. I've heard that he's actually invincible in this fight. Like, you just can't damage him. You'll see the damage numbers pop up, but nothing will happen. They, they won't lose HP or anything, but it's you can't tell with the, the question marks there, so... Well, and in any case, now let's deal with these guys. So one Earth Tech from either Bu and Lucia, and then uh, Starfall will get the job done. Or we can get an assist from Salmando, and we can deal with them that way. And I can extend my bingo buff long enough to deal with all three groups of the soldiers right away. Hooray! Oh, too easy. Ooh, four Earth Grass. Nice. And you see, we're, they drop heal potions like candy there. So eventually I'll start se selling some of those too. 
But you still want to hold on to heal potions, even though we don't use them as much as... Uh, what is it? Uh, drugs, that is. But, uh, okay, so, let's see, we got... Yeah, get that going. And, okay, yeah, either one of my priests uh, casting Starfall should be able to... Well, maybe not that one. Hmm. Maybe I should have had... Yeah, I shouldn't have had Zora use Starfall there. Uh, whatever, it's, it's fine. We're not going to be fighting other enemies for several rounds of combat because it's going to take a while for the boss to get around to dealing with us. Well, thank you for not moving farther away from me. Well, hopefully I can get a, a cure out of Molten there. And hopefully the Cure Mage will be stupid and stay in range. Although it looks like the Ice Mage I got smart and decided not to use Ice Magic. Or at least the first one didn't. But uh, this one's pretty stupid. Well, the other one was also smart enough not to try and put my dragon to sleep there. Okay, good, good. Yeah, that's another reason why I use Thunderhawk to damage them because it'll keep the Cure Mage busy there while we're, yeah, trying to deal with the other guys. I don't even care that they're getting all their HP back. The Cure Mage is the high priority target. So, yeah, it's going to take those guys quite a while to get through all that forest there. Okay, so let's see. How far can you guys move there? Okay, and then you got a range of six with your javelin throw. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I move right over here, I'll stay out of range, but I still can aggro those guys to come down here instead of going to the right there where I'm dealing with these guys. I still might, like, aggro them for a little bit, over here, but that would be accidental. That's not really what I'm trying to do there. Okay, so now we got Bickabot there. He's giving a bit light on HP. So, let's see. If I move right there, I'll barely be in range to buff you up, but uh, hold on. Let's uh, Molten to come and then buff up. And hopefully, Molten will heal them they're not at critical HP, but enough. They've lost enough for me to hope that they can get healed. No, they cannot. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to do what I can with those guys. But, all right. So, we got, what is it, three Gaia robes. So, yeah. Let's uh, give those to my wizards there. They could use the help on the damage. Although, I'll probably move around the assault eventually as... I need to to deal with the what is it well yeah to deal with well not the cure mages but well other enemies eventually like uh what is it yeah the non-elemental guys over here but can we regroup in time before the general and their cohorts reach us find out next time on let's play bahamut lagoon this is h bailey signing off have a good day